Hello guys, welcome back to the Fresh Step Productions channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own DIY mask out of paper towel and elastic bands and nothing more. So this, it doesn't have to go around the ears to make it uncomfortable or anything. It fits all the way around, just like a surgical mask or an N95, if that's what you guys call it. So I'm going to be showing you guys the, the trial that I went through in order to come up with a mask. And I will also show you the breath tests where you strike a match or a lighter and try to blow out the flame. And if you fail to blow out the flame, no matter how hard you try to blow out it and the flame doesn't go out, then that means it's a good mask. So I'll be seeing you guys. So I'm back now guys, so this is the mask I was talking about, this is the first one that I came up with before I came up with my final design. I saw this on a YouTube video before where I used two elastic bands, a sheet of paper towel and a stapler. Now let's be honest, not all people have a stapler around waiting to use unless they are at the office and so on. So. When you use a stapler, there's also a disadvantage. You may staple too far and give yourself far less room for the elastic to do this. And when the elastic is too tight, it can be a real problem when it comes to comfort. I had to take this off like every two minutes because it was cramping my ears. So this is what it's looking like. It fits well and all that, but in no time, your ears is going to start to feel very uncomfortable. So I knew that I really couldn't go along with this one. So I decided to come up with a different one. I'm going to show you guys that real quick. All right, so this is the second design that I found on the internet just the same, where you no longer have to use a stapler. You just use elastic bands and a paper towel. But this still adds its flaw into it as you still have to put the elastic band around your ears and it proves to be uncomfortable just the same. So we are back for a third version. So this one it has a strap that actually goes around your head. So it cancels out the need for having an elastic band actually covering around your ears. And that was where all other masks went very uncomfortable. Now this one, it wasn't all that simple since I used scraps of elastic bands that were broken from before and kept tying them to each other to see if it will work. But I knew that I need something simpler cause this is kind of a bit time consuming trying to tie these and try to make it look kind of appealing in a way. And that's when I came up with the best design yet. Well, it might have been the best of designs, but it's the best design I've came up with so far. Now that completes the walkthrough of the previous versions, and I'm going to be diving straight into showing you guys how to make this mask. All right, so we are now back. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the mask now. Now to start, ensure that you clean your work area. So I just spray off here with a little alcohol. Use some paper towel and wipe it clean. And continue to wipe until the designated zone is quite clear. And after that, all the stuff you need to get that mask ready is some paper towel, a pack of elastic bands, and a scissors. Now firstly, all you gotta do is open out the paper towel, tear one sheet, 
now you fold the sheet in half it's supposed to be a somewhat like a square but a large enough square I'm gonna take this out of the shots so after you finish folding the paper towel in a square you start to fold it around like this fold the paper towel like that once more fold it around and you get the hints just keep on going like this like that again like that once more and like this like that once more then you flatten it and after this is flattened you just go ahead and use something to hold it down and then you need three elastic bands out of this thing that just jumped out so you're looking for a good enough size elastic bands this is an assorted pack so it has a lot of different sizes in there so I'll generally go for the largest size as the largest size in this pack is the ideal size to use I'm not quite sure which diameter this is so the first thing you do you do that thing where you use an elastic band and fold it around something that kind of fold where when you're finished it's actually a hole just the same so you fold it around right here then you pull and ensure that it's secured pull a little bit harder ensure that it's secure and that's it ensure that everything is pulling around second piece now go ahead and do the same thing pull it around then you pull and it will be secured all right so after it's secured you can go ahead and open this out you can just pick a side that you want it to be at anyways now you know that your mask is here already you can go around the ear like that but it's not 100% complete you cut the other elastic like this where it's straight then go ahead and give it a tie right here so you try to tie it where it gets the most space remaining on this don't want to tie it in a way where you use too much space give it a second tie for good measure all right now for the second area go ahead and give it another tie then the second tie for a good measure just like the other side this side is a bit smaller now there it is, it made it through. Then it is actually ready. You can go ahead and put this mask on and put it onto your face. Then you can pinch this side that is on your nose and it fits on properly. As you can see, you just use paper towel, a scissors, and a few elastic bands. You can get the elastic bands at a dollar store or any local shops in your area just go ahead and visit those places and just get to yourself some elastic bands so now that the mask is finished i'm going to go and show you guys that test run now this is the last part of the video and actually a very vital part this is to know if the mask that you have just made it will really protect you 
Now, if the mask fails this test, just add a second layer of paper towel and it will work after that. Well, not exactly well, I don't know how thin the paper towel is that you're using. So you'll need to get it thick enough where you can still breathe okay, but it passes this test. So you can use a lighter or you can use a match. But ensure that there is no wind that is blowing out the match when you light it. Then you blow at it and try to blow it out. And no matter how hard I blew, it didn't go out because of the blowing. It went out because it burned all the way out. I want to do a second match just to show you exactly what I was talking about. Ensure that this thing lies properly. This thing was weak from the start and it's out. It was a very bad example. Anyway, you have to ensure that the match is behaving properly if a match is what you're using. So here we go again. No matter how hard I blow at this, it's still going and you, as you could see I'm blowing as hard as I can through this mask and a quick view of what it would have been without the mask and trying to blow out this much okay so mask off if this starts up and please don't go don't go out I don't want to waste this come on come on come on go on go on go on uh, there we go so without the mask, I'm blowing at this, and that's it. It just goes out. Yeah, it's that smoker. You don't want that catching my nostrils right now. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, don't do this to me. Then we are back. Now this time, it is the third version. And this now, it doesn't have to go around the ears, so that's really comfortable now to hear. Bro, the mic is not plugged in. Now back for a third version. This one, it actually has a strap that goes around their head. It's not dependent on going around the ears. You know, I've been facing this whole day. Every time I'm to start a video, there is this noise in the background. Anyway, back to the video. anyway so that's the end of the video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to keep safe and use all the preventative measures and hopefully we can make it through this pandemic and i'm out of things to say so just please check out some other videos on my channel and i'll see you guys adios